Let's practice some basic algebra, including one step equations. You have two x ray machines, and you add three x ray machines. How many x ray machines do you have in total? You have five x ray machines. So whenever you have a variable here, whether it be x, y, or z, or a, b, c, whatever variable you have, you simply add the coefficients. 2 plus 3 is 5, and we're talking about x-ray machines, so the answer is 5x. Imagine you're eating 5 pies. What's 5 pi minus a pie? 5 pi take away 1 pi, there's a hidden 1 here, is going to be 4 pi, and pi is delicious. We learn in math that pi is a constant. Pi is approximately 3.14. It's a very special constant. What if you have 10 apples and you take away 5 apples and then you add 3 apples? So this question has 3 terms, 1 part, 2 part, 3 parts, but we can still do it step by step. Let's focus on the first part. What's 10 apples minus 5 apples? And the answer is 5 apples. I'm just going to copy down the rest here. And now let's focus on the second part. What's 5 apples plus 3 apples? The answer is 8 apples. And that's our final answer. So here we practice some basic algebra. We learn how to combine the x's, or combine the pi's, or combine the a's. Now this time we have an equal sign. So we, we no longer call this just adding terms, but we call this an equation because there's an equal sign here. The word equation means we have an equal sign. So the idea of one-step equations is we're just easing into how equations work is think of equations as an equal sign being like a fair see seesaw, like a balance. It's like you're, you're, you're like a judge who is fair. And if something on the left is this heavy, then something on the right has to balance that equal sign and make sure that the weight is the same on both sides. So whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you just have to do to another side. There's an app called Dragon Box. It helps you practice equations and algebra. It's really good for this, but let's just practice the math. So as a fair Texas judge, we're going to divide both sides by 2. So as long as you're doing the same thing to both sides, that's okay when there's an equal sign. It's fair. You're going to divide both sides by 2. So we're going to divide by 2, divide by 2. That's fair because there's an equal sign in the middle. So what's 2 divided by 2? Two? 2 divided by 2 is 1. So it cancels out and this becomes a 1x. 1x is the same thing as x. Equals, what's 8 divided by 2? If you have eight cookies and you share with two friends, you're going to have four cookies each. Eight divided by two is four. So the answer is x equals four. That's what solving is. If the question says to solve this equation, it means find x or find the unknown variable, and the answer is four. x equals four. Let's try another one-step equation problem. We have an equal sign here. You could probably guess it what something minus 2 is 5. If you spend years meditating on this question, you might eventually just guess the answer is 7. 7 minus 2 is 5, and you can just kind of guess that x is 7. But just to practice the algebra, let's be a fair Texas judge. And we're going to add 2 to both sides. That's fair. So here is the middle line. The equal sign is the middle line. We're going to say plus 2, and then on the right, we're going to go plus 2. So what is x minus 2 plus 2? And on the right, we have equal 5 plus 2. The minus 2 and the positive 2, they cancel. So x is all by itself on the left, and that's the goal. The goal is to get x all by itself. And what's 5 plus 2? The answer is 7. So x is equal to 7. And that's our solution. We solved it. We solved this equation. Let's try another one-step equation. Can we really do this in one step? And the answer is yes. There's an equal sign in the middle. So what can you do to both sides as a fair Texas judge? 
Yeehaw, we can multiply both sides by 3. Multiply by 3, times by 3. Because on the left, if you multiply by 3, x over 3 equals, and you multiply the right by 3, that's fair. We tripled our money on the left and the right. Everyone's happy. And when you multiply a number, the same 3 is the same thing as 3 divided by 1, you multiply across 3x over 3. Or you can even simplify and cancel out diagonally. You can cancel numbers top and bottom and diagonally as well. Just get used to that. So what we have is x is equal to 6. And we solved that. That's great.